literally a hundred yards is the village shop so I'm back over at uh, Wraithway today and what I'm going to do today is complete the uh, cold day horseshoe I did five of the summits two weeks ago but there is eight summits that you can do so the three I'm going to do today Barrow, Scar Crags and Causey Pike come on the forecast went for a fabulous day it was two degrees when I got here on the mountain forecast it's going to be zero degrees on the summits with a minus five wind chill and hopefully I'm going the right way <laughs> I was slightly concerned that it looks like I was walking up somebody's private drive here as I thought yeah this is the path up here so I'll just walk through there and we've got uh, plenty of signposts there but the one we want looks like it's straight on through the gate and straight up there talk about a nice view from there if we turn round we've got fantastic views all the way around there isn't that nice Whew, well first mistake of the day <laughs> probably been go five minutes follow the path and all of a sudden it came to a, a dead end so I've had to wade through all this fern over here so when you come out that gate the bottom you take a left First mistake, hopefully the only mistake of the day. Barrow, it's only 444 metres, 1500 feet. But I'll tell you something, it's steep all the way up. That's not the top, by the way. And we can see Cat Bells just there. And the first hump of Cat Bells there. I remember taking Harry Metalman up there about four years ago. Got up at the first hump. He says, that is. He says, see that one up there? That's it there. Should have seen the look on his face. Very, very similar to the look on Mrs. Metalman's face when I did exactly the same with her. Fair play to them both. They both got up there. But these views, honestly, they're absolutely amazing. I'm actually parked where I parked last time at this free car park here. So today I walk back into Braithwaite. It's not marked on there, but there is that distinct path all the way up there to Barrow. Once we're there, dropping down, style end, and then we're following this path, walk around here, and then we're going up here, Scar Crags, Causey Pike. And then what I'm doing, I'm going to come back on myself and that style end and the way I came back last time back in the breath wait that's the plan let's see if it works out big coach back on again and wind is getting up a bit there now I remember me road microphones are in the backpack if it gets worse I will swap over and another false summit just where you think you're getting there thankfully I've got these fantastic views to keep us occupied as I'm walking up but big shout out to Tog24 but I bought this uh, down jacket and I'll tell you something as well as being extremely lightweight it is warm as toast trying its hardest to burst through but it's starting to really lighten up to the water and Keswick over there this time last week a lot of this place down here was flooded and funny enough the wind seems to have dropped there now the high we've got not complaining about that but, uh, disappointingly I was hoping to do this walk last week with uh, Chris from uh, Bonnie Lads on Tour but like I just mentioned before last week so bad up here there was weather warns there was floods all over we've been wanting to do a collaboration together now for it must be a year it just goes to show how difficult it is sometimes he's only got the weekend unless he's on holiday I was supposed to be doing another collaboration with uh, Emma uh, up in Northumberland from M's Adventures so we're going to do a walk over here again it's uh, getting a day like this so whether it happens this year or next year it will happen come on get yourself through that cloud Oh, 
first summit of the day, Barrow. Well, it's only about 1500 feet, but uh, it's a steep 1500 feet. So we'll be dropping down here. So the path is going round there and it's leading us round the back of Scar Crags and then we'll come up, come up the back way. Well, I'm going to have a quick stop here. Head on to the next one, uh, Scar Crags. Not going to hang them out too much today because with the clocks going back there now, obviously it's getting darker there now, quicker. And uh, just as I say that, the sun comes out. Hallelujah! So I think I must have broke a record. I think I'm even below me normal one mile an hour pace today it always amazes me when people say they want to walk with us uh, if ever you do remember to book a full day off if not if not a couple of days or maybe even a weekend because i tell you something the pace i go when you got days like this you got views like this i never rush never rush well the big coat's off again i tell you something that's uh because you're walking through the valley there now not only is there no wind, but that sun is uh, really keeping it nice and warm. I mentioned that Tog to our 24 jacket before. As well as it being very lightweight, it, it really is warm. And it packs a weight of nothing in my backpack as well. So that's a, a very good buy. Another buy that I've just made this week is the uh, Rab jacket. Really pleased I've got it, haven't said that. A uh, bit disappointed to find out it was uh, made in China. Yeah, but I don't know what the economics of it are, how they can make something the other side of the world, ship it all the way across here, and it's cheaper than making it in the UK. I'm sure what somebody might tell us. Yeah, I would have preferred a black one, just the same with my uh, tug jacket, I would have preferred a black one, but the black ones, for whatever reason, more expensive. <laughs> so a bit of an eclectic mix of uh, talking points today. We've had uh, economics, politics, and... Uh, fashion anyway let's get back to the hiking so we'll make our way around there and then through the valley and then we'll be going up there and just where the sun is blinding us summit of Corsi Pike as well as the sun dropping down so is the temperature now that I've took everything off you can see the path that way came up but I'll stay about another five minutes hit the crossroads and then we'll start the uh, walk up to Scarcracks so second summit of the day, Scar Crags, and uh, what an absolutely glorious day. The mountain forecast was right, uh, full sun coming up there, once you get up here, oh man, the views are fantastic. Again, I'm looking over all the way into Scotland. Back on track there now. I'm back on my uh, one mile an hour pace, so I've been beasting it the last half an hour or so. So third and final summit of the day, Causey Pike. <sighs> what an outstanding day! It just gets better and better. Views absolutely immense. So that's where we came down from. That was the last one, Scar Crags. Walked over there, and oh my goodness gracious me! Look at that look at that as well some scruffy git oh wait a minute it's me uh, so again i've been sat too long but when you've got views like this it is just so hard to leave them so that's where we were first thing this morning barrow so i have been sat with a guy real nice lad he was and we had a good chat and he was up here on holiday with his brother-in-law but they've gone down that way it looks very very steep so i'm in two minds i'd went to go back the way i'd had planned or drop down there and it does look really steep uh i mean what would you do just about to head off uh, 
I've said that about four times in about the last 45 minutes. One last look anywhere, then I'm definitely going. I've really enjoyed it. And the sun just dipping behind the clouds there. We are dropping down, as always, to climb all the way back up. It's the amount of times I've been walking all over these fell. I've never ever been here uh, until two weeks ago. And that was due to three lasses have really inspired me uh, to really push the boundaries myself. And that was uh, a Katie Fox, Emma, Em's Adventures and Kerry over at uh, Drunk on Wanderlust. Three lasses who really do push the envelope and give me a bit of a kick up behind in order to do something different. I'm really enjoying it. Not the kick on the backside like, I wasn't enjoying that. But they have inspired us. Well, I was just going to say, now we're dropping down, got to go all the way back up there. But, you can see a little side path there. I think I'm going to give it a go. And uh, hopefully, not breaking my neck. Back on the main path again. <laughs> I went, uh, I would say about 100 yards uh, down that side path and it was just a bog. But twice I knew I'd flat me back. My pole went about three foot down into the mud. I think back to my Ben Nevis video when I was on about exactly that when two lads went off piste and uh, anyway, one of them broke the leg and then you had to have the air ambulance coming out. Yeah, longer, yeah, harder, but basically the right way to go. So, I've never been frightened hard work, so let's get it done. So there's Cozy Pike there we'll drop down from. And you got one, two, three humps there before you drop down. And drop even further down to climb back up there again. But it's all part of the fun. And just when you get the what you think is the top, you look up. And you still got that to go yet. Just as well I don't mind hard work. There's the path back. All the way down. Through the gap in between Outer Size and Barrow. Down to the little village of Braithwaite. I definitely won't be filming any down there because that when you get back to the village, all of a sudden it hits you that you've got half a mile of road walking uphill on a little tiny sea road. So, if it's anything like last time I did it, I was cursing all the way up. Final view, Causey Pike, 637 metres, 289 feet. And I think that's the top of Scar Crags. <laughs> anyway, when I get to the top, we'll soon find out. But if it was, that's, uh, I think that's the highest point of the day, to be quite honest. 672 metres, 2,205 feet. Nope, wrong again. Still got a bit more climbing to do yet. The ridge walk that keeps giving and giving. Anyway, it's building my fell fitness up, hopefully. We talked about two and a half thousand feet and there's not a breath of wind. How nice is that? Bit of cloud on the top of Skiddo. But I'm not on Skiddo, so I'm not bothered. <laughs> well, I said before, I'll say it again, yeah. I am walking by myself, but I never feel alone when I'm uh, doing these walks, when I've got my GoPro with us. I always feel people are walking with us, which is uh, always a nice feeling. So you see the little cairn. This is only a small cairn, mine of Scar Crags. And once I get this little cairn at the top, it's downhill all the way. Back down to Braithwaite. Fantastic. If you have watched this far, and listen to me rambling on you deserve a medal but either way thank you very much if you enjoyed the video click on the like button that would be very much appreciated and why not consider subscribing so i'll tell you something it won't be too long before i'm back out well get a deal like this it won't be too long before i'm back out again cheers